Thank you for joining us. We are the Ninja Legion, and this is Bagged and Boarded. I am P-Chan. And I am Cecil Blade. And this is our bi-weekly, weekly discussion about comic books. Um, normally, my co-host is Spider. He ain't here right now, so I got Cecil on the other side of the booth. You don't sound so enthusiastic there. I am just... <laughs> just all of this. Get your southern bell on. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I need a big-ass fan. It'll be amazing. <laughs> but thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Um, Our main discussion of topic tonight topic of discussion i said that backwards i am having an off night it's very odd that's because i'm not drinking right now um is marvel actually just acquired or reacquired the rights to uh the punisher daredevil ghost rider uh daredevil and electra and if my memory serves me right is that daredevil squared because you said it twice well i i i'm (laughs) assuming marvel's always had this weird thing where it's daredevil and then daredevil and electra You, you cannot have to go hand in hand with the two Okay. Uh, you can't really tell Electra's story without Daredevil. As a matter of fact, in the Electra movie, along with the Daredevil movie, um, there's a cameo by Ben Affleck who plays Matt Murdock or the Daredevil uh, in the s- deleted scenes or the extended cut of the Electra movie. So I always say Daredevil and then Daredevil and Electra because y- you can't have one without the other. And I also believe uh, Spider-Man, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Sony, um, who has been working in conjunction with Marvel... Uh, has actually lost the rights, though they were talking about a uh, Sinister Six movie. Are, are you sure Spider Man was in that in that lot? I again, I said, don't quote me on it. I'm fairly certain Marvel was uh, Spider Man was in that discussion, but I'm not really sure. That might be hearsay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Mar- that's official yet. No, but Sony's been really good about trying to work with Marvel, Disney, and kind of tie things in. Um, and they well, have been talking about after Spider Man Two doing the Sinister Six movie and have plans for that well let's face it when you're against empire disney <laughs> yeah right. even if you are sony you ain't gonna win <laughs> yeah that's the problem kind of what the uh, fantastic four movie is coming up against they get all these grand plans and marvel disney kind of just biding their time so we'll see but with these reacquisitions we should start seeing some really cool things happening um especially with ghost rider for anyone who's seen the first ghost rider movie or uh, the Ghost Rider 2, uh, Spirit of Vengeance, you know they were garbage. Well, I mean, let, let, let's go back to the comics, because obviously that's what we're we're all about here. Right. So um, Daredevil and Blade and Ghost Rider and and, and all the ones we've, we've, we've mentioned, Punisher, definitely. Definitely. Um, they've all been recently rebooted, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, all with the exception of Blade. Yeah, Blade hasn't been rebooted, but I can see Blade being rebooted. Now that they have the rights back. I cannot wait for it, actually. Um, I know they had some problems with Wesley Snipes as Blade in the third movie, um, Blade Trinity. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't know if he'll be back. Plus, he's getting up in age. Um, I do know the D- Daredevil movie and the Electra movie weren't well received. Well, I personally, I kind of like the Daredevil movie uh, and liked it even more so when they released the extended director's cut. Are you you're talking about Ben Affleck as Daredevil or Ben Affleck as Batman? <laughs> Uh, just just throwing it out there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never thought he'd get another superhero move. I am blind. No, oh, I'm, I'm mixing characters. I'm sorry. But they do have the, um, <laughs> but they do have the Netflix series coming out, which should I'm looking forward to. The Netflix series on? Daredevil. Really? They just started shooting it. Um, they planned on doing a... Is it uh, a Marvel-Netflix combo deal, or...? It is. Um, they also wanted to do Power Man and uh, Iron Fist, which should be real, the Heroes for Hire. That should be pretty cool, too. Um, the one I can't, I'm sorry, I can't help but giggle every time someone mentions Iron Fist because I think it's a bit porn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, it's a giggling eight year old boy syndrome. The, but... the the Power Man Iron Fist was was seventies. I mean, all the way. It's my well, it does make sense now. Power right. Man, Iron Fist, Bush. Yeah. No. Sorry, uh, beer that is. No, <laughs> I'm ex- I'm personally excited to see that they might do Daredevil. I'm sorry, uh, Ghost Rider some justice, and I'm especially excited for possibly a rated R, really done, well done, Punisher. Uh, Punisher should be one of the easiest superhero comic books movies to do, and they've done it little to no justice. I'm gonna stop you there, okay? Because let's let's face it. Even though the definition over what the last ten years of PG thirteen has changed to allow more, right? And this will bring us into like our, our next 
topic we'll, we'll have to jump back and forth here but like the Punisher because you've read Punisher comics oh yeah okay very violent very violent very very violent that's like going into the Deadpool if anybody's seen the Deadpool leak supposed leak if you can still find it go look up the uh, the Deadpool leaked footage uh, it's like the test footage yeah. they ran just as a uh, an example of what the movie could be and it is hilarious and fantastic it is it is great however going back to the Punisher you gotta remember Empire Disney still has this and they will not release a rated R movie which the Punisher needs to be it has to be I mean Thomas Jane did a pretty decent job with the restrictions of the first uh, Punisher movie and I actually r rather enjoy Thomas Jane as the Punisher but it's gotta be R it, it, it just has to be I mean, you can't have a Punisher you, well and that's that's the one thing I don't get is you get all these comics being made into into Hollywood huge blockbusters right and they're not quite capturing how dark comics get. Well, how dark they've gotten since the yeah. 90s. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to change your character to go along with the times. Exactly. I mean, look at Batman. Batman was kind of a, this, this goofy glove, wear, purple glove wearing. Batman's been dark since the 40s. Not really. Batman didn't start getting dark, I will honestly say, until Frank Miller got his hands on it. And then he okay. became the, you know, I am okay. vengeance, the yeah. dark knight. I mean, until that, that he I'll was kind of, he was, he was, I mean, he was to be feared, but he wasn't the Batman, you know, now going through the ghetto and beating, got torturing guy. <laughs> I won't kill you, but I'll torture the crap out of you. Break all your fingers. Tell me what I need to know. And I'm still going to give you to the cops, but you're going to tell me what I need to know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the Batman changed with the times. I mean, you can't have the superhero running around like what's essentially Gotham's b based on Chicago. The, the ghettos of Chicago, and he's just, you know, punching guys in the face and getting what he needs. No, no. He's going to scar guys. He's going to beat them up. He's going to break them. And that's what he has to do. But, I mean, Christopher Nolan did a really good job of, you know, Batman's kind of this darker character, dealing with dark human themes, and even working within the constraints of PG-13. But you can't do that with the Punisher. I, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't even believe you could do that with Daredevil. To be honest with you, PG thirteen is kind of stretching it. Dare, but I mean, they could. Oh they, yeah, you could get away with Daredevil tastefully. True, tastefully. I mean, Daredevil, but Daredevil is violent. Oh yeah, he's basically Marvel's Batman. When you really get down to it, that's what he does. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's, that's a good counter. Yeah. I mean, it, it's. But as Punisher and Blade, of course, Blade was what was it, was that Fox. Had yeah. the rights to Blade? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. New Line had the rights. Was that to New Blade. Line? But it was um, R and done exceptionally well. Especially mm -hmm. the first Blade was really well done. Um, the second Punisher War Zone, it was R. It wasn't that great a movie, but it did the Punisher justice. And then basically, he walks in the room. It's very rare that you see a sequel better than the original. Because Warzone was better than the first. It was, but purely based on the fact that he was murdering people in the face. Uh, I, I do think the first Punisher was a little bit better acted, but by all means, it had the action I was looking for. He was shooting guys with rocket launchers, knifing guys. It's what he does. He goes after violent crime families, and he murders them. You don't want to be a criminal when the Punisher's around. And that's kind of the problem I always have with the Ghost Rider. And it's not just Ghost Rider in the movies. It's Ghost Rider as a character in general. There really hasn't been a storyline as of late that's given the Ghost Rider any justification. Which he might be, and quite possibly is, one of the strongest and most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. Mm -hmm. I, I know uh, DC has their JLA Dark, which is just dealing with the occult. Uh, it's got like John Constantine and uh, Zatanna. And it just deals with the mystical uh, characters in the DC universe. Marvel doesn't have that. They haven't had that since the 90s. And I think, um, I'm pretty sure Doctor Strange and Blade headed up that team. But they haven't yet. I mean, you have the most one of the most powerful characters on the planet, the Spirit of Vengeance, who isn't doing anything. And then they just introduced a new um, Ghost Rider who is um, Robbie Reyes, who is a Hispanic teen living in um, downtown, the bad part of L.A., uh, as a high school student raising his uh, disabled brother. And then one night he's trying to drag race and earn money in a car that's full of drugs. 
and they catch up with him, the gang who owns the car, and kills him because he's a mechanic. And then he becomes the new spirit of vengeance. It's an interesting concept, and I got to tell you, it's I bought the first three issues from our local comic book shop, Collector's Corner. You should visit. Mm-hmm. But it, there really hasn't been much of a platform for where the story is going to go. But I'll tell you already, I'm I've enjoyed it. I mean, it's Ghost Rider knees in a car, which is a little jarring because I've always, you know, Ghost Rider's on a motorcycle, but he's in like a black Charger. So, which is I think is fitting for Ghost Rider. Oh if yeah, you're gonna I mean, pick a car, black uh, Charger is pretty the way good, to go. Good I mean, choice. I'm just glad they didn't throw him in a Mustang. I, I feel yeah, like that, uh, that's, that's a cheap that's, way. Of, yeah. That's beat. The, the Charger is, horse. yeah, it, it, it could have yeah. only been a Charger or a GTO. Those are the only two answers I would have accepted. Old GTO, that's classified. Oh, an old GTO, GTO correct. Crap. <laughs> but, I mean, hopefully now that they've got, you know, the Ghost Rider, that's one of the few you can do PG-13, though I do think Ghost Rider should be R. But you can get away with Ghost Rider as PG-13 because you can murder vampires and ghouls and zombies and get a PG-13, make that violent as hell, and slide under okay the FCC. Yeah. yeah. The... I, Punisher needs to be R. The rest of them can be PG-13 and done tastefully. But Deadpool. Right. If you've ever sat and you've even read one Deadpool comic, okay, one. And I know you have. I've read a lot of Deadpool. I've actually followed Deadpool, but my comics are a little, my comic choices are a little dark. Right. I don't read a lot. But well, you Dead- started in manga where they had a little well, bit you, more free range to oh, do. Yeah. Well, I started darker. in manga, then I went to Johnny the Homocycle Maniac. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, that was kind yeah. of the dark, <laughs> I, like Invader Zim. Yeah, and then you know into like Marvel Universe with Deadpool, and it's extremely violent. It, it needs to be Deadpool isn't a story; it's just violence. It's, for the most part, it is ninety percent violence. It's ninety percent violence and comedy. It's all pretty much in Wade Wilson's head. Mm-hmm. What, basically, your story is what ridiculous thing is. Deadpool going to do today and, and it makes sense but that's what the Deadpool movie needs to be if they're going to do a movie of Deadpool they need to be close to the comics they need violence what you need honestly is everyone's seen the ridiculous shoot em up Clive oh Owen, yeah shoot em up the ridiculous Paul Giamatti yeah the ridiculous in that but that's how action pa- or cranked yeah. Action, 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 action. And the one good thing about De- um, Deadpool is you don't need a story. Because, I, to be honest with you, any story you give Deadpool, he is going to ruin ignore it anyway. or, yeah, or ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it's I mean, not like you need a... Think, a you, think about it, though. The teaser trailer, if you've ever seen it, if you haven't seen it, go find it if you can. Yeah. Needs to be an hour and a half of that. Of just that. Yeah. I'm completely okay with that. A little slapstick. You violence. Know what I mean? I, if it's an hour or two matrix hours violence. of just Deadpool being Deadpool, I will sit through that. I will pay. Dear Fox, don't hox it up. <laughs> you understand me? That's, that's, <laughs> Fox can't help themselves. They are the... They are the they have the money to pull the projects they want and then ruin them. You, you know they're, they're kicking themselves right now, right? Oh, yeah. With the Guardians? Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyway, we should do something similar like that. Oh, wait. There's Firefly. But I will say, though, <laughs> if if they got away with as much as they got away with with Guardians of the Galaxy, there might be hope. Now, that, that's what I'm talking about because, all right, go see Guardians of the Galaxy. If you haven't done it, do it. But... Like, if you take Daredevil and, well, Blade has to be art, but you take Ghost Rider and Elektra and, and those. Right. You could do Guardians of the Galaxy violence level. Right. And I think that would be a tastefully done movie. I really do. Yeah, but I. I Punisher? No. Deadpool? No. Well, Guardians, I, th- I feel for sci fi, it gets away with murder because you do have, like I said in the last show, um, Sticky Floors. They had faceless nondescript enemies that they could murder Mm -hmm. they did bleed but it was green blood soil and green soil and green (laughs) so you you kind (laughs) of aliens they don't have human faces with you know your daredevil or your electric or electra and your punisher they're all dealing with humans except for daredevil and electra you could always go with the hand and the hand deals with zombie ninjas 
So you could probably get away with that if you did it right. But, yeah, but zombie ninjas would probably sell in the theaters. Oh, yeah. True. That's very our, true. Our producer likes that idea. That's kind of like when they did the original uh, the Wolverine, uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. It was PG-13, and they went and did The Wolverine, and it was R. Completely okay with that. And it felt like it was a better movie. It had its the Wolverine was with him in Japan, right? Yes. I watched that recently. It wasn't a bad movie. It shouldn't have been rated R. <laughs> no, no, it shouldn't have. I, it was... That was completely PG-13. Well, I think they were trying to make up for the lack of people saying, well, you can't do a PG-13 Wolverine movie. I mean, look at Days of Future Past. I mean, that was PG-13, and that pushed the envelope, and that was fantastic. Evil Origins sucked. <laughs> Origins sucked so bad. It's it's a, and it gets funnier every time I watch it. I tried to watch it on FX, and even they couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> like they're they're like this is, this is this is it's slightly awful. ridiculous. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't can't make it. But I I do hope the Deadpool leaked uh, test footage amounts to them actually getting off their asses and making the Darido, uh the Deadpool movie. There's too many D's in this cast. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that all wrong, but yeah, I hope. I Meanwhile, hope, back in the back cave, what do we got next? <laughs> I, I I I really hope this pushes them to actually go ahead and get off their asses and make the Deadpool movie. It needs to happen, and they will sell quite a few tickets just based on the fact that it's Deadpool. I mean, people like Spider will complain, but what doesn't he complain about? <laughs> you know, the next show of Back to the Board, he's going to rip you a new one. Oh, he's going to be salty as hell. Okay. Completely okay with it. So what else do we have on the agenda, sir? Um, just a shout out. Uh, they just started releasing the Scott Program hardback color versions. Um, check those out. I actually went ahead and bought the first three. Um, it's fantastic. It's a hardback book, and it's all color pages. So if you already have it, it kind of sucks to be you. But I, I haven't enjoyed reading a, a book that much, especially a graphic novel that much, since Fables, which isn't done yet. Still getting all of those. Just a shout out. If you haven't picked it up yet, go pick up uh, the Scott Pilgrim Color hardback versions. And also pick up Rat Queens. Do it. And Saga Volume 3. <laughs> Pimping. You have a hard on for Scott Pilgrim. I do. I have yeah. a massive, massive hard on for Scott Pilgrim. Can they Scott release Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim that's colored by numbers? I would have so much fun doing that. Mm -hmm. I think that would sell great. You know listen, what? Listen to me. I would love to see them market like full graphic novels that are coloring books. That would be. Could you imagine like just the Akira like half price coloring book? No. 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 <laughs> I cannot. That would be amazing. I would love everything about that. No, I do not need Tetsuo blowing up into organs and stuff like that and coloring that in with my three year old. It would not work. You know what? Speaking of which, that has really gotten better over time. That has aged exceptionally well. It does. Exceptionally well. Like a fine red. Fine red. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. We're the Ninja Legion. This has been Bagged and Boarded. I am P-Chan. <laughs> I'm Cecil. <laughs> Have um, a good night. Oh. No, just before oh. we go, before we go, I want to make a shout out. Of course, um, you want to catch any of our releases, like comic book releases that are coming up, check our weekly releases program out because we go over all that. A whole list of what? Almost 200 releases a yeah, week. Every in week. comics alone. And, of course, DVDs, so forth and so on. And then, of course, check us out on our social say sites. Yeah, I'm sitting next to you. It's infectious. Has caused this. This is what happens when <laughs> P-Chan doesn't drink. All right. Good night. Have a good night. <laughs>